having grown up in Liberty, I've seen quite a few small businesses, family-owned businesses. Some of them have stuck around and done a great job. Some of them have changed their business model a little bit to adapt to the changing times, and some of them have unfortunately not lasted that long. It's difficult to run a small business. My father's run a small business since about 1975. He pours concrete. I grew up pouring concrete with him. It's difficult to say exactly why most small businesses fail, but one of the bigger reasons why a lot of the smaller retail stores fail is because they have to compete against very large, what are called big box stores or box chain stores. One of the reasons that these big stores have such a competitive advantage is because they have the resources to be able to take advantage of things like big corporate tax loopholes. One of the ones that I'm speaking about is the, what's so-called Jeffrey loophole, where a company like Walmart or Home Depot will establish a subsidiary corporation in a state like Delaware that does not tax intangible assets and then they'll place title to all their intangible assets into the subsidiary company in Delaware, avoiding the state tax in some place like Missouri to the tune of about $90 million a year. If we can close that loophole by forcing corporations to have all their holdings or all their assets located in the same place where they're headquartered, then we can go a long way towards putting a more competitive field out there for smaller businesses and making it easier for people who have a five or six man operation and run a small retail store to compete against somebody like Home Depot.